Hey guys, it's me. I'm really excited for today's video. Banggood offered to collaborate with me, so they sent me a keyboard to review. I was always envious of other bigger keyboard channels who are offered stuff like this and was wondering when I would be offered that same opportunity. And here I am. Before I get into this video, for the interest of full disclosure, this keyboard came in free of charge from Banggood. All the opinions that follow are mine. This is not paid and no one is reviewing it or approving it before uploading. So let's take a look at this keyboard. This is a GK61 optical mechanical keyboard. Inside the box, we have a small guide. We have the keyboard. And under here we have a braided USB-C cable. And inside this little box we have a keycap puller and a switch puller. Now let's take a closer look at the outside. It's a standard 60% ANSI layout, has an internal steel plate, and has a plastic case which is very sturdy and durable. It has a fixed angle and on the rear, it has a type C port, and on the bottom, there are four rubber feet to keep it sturdy. I've watched other videos on this keyboard before and I noticed that there are some aesthetic differences. The keyboard used to have a glossy finish on the sides of the keycaps and the case, which I really didn't like, but it looks like they've updated to an all matte finish and I like that much better. The keyboard doesn't have dedicated arrow keys. However, we have them on a secondary layout, which you can access by holding down the function key. The keycaps are made from ABS and they are double shot, so the legend is another piece of plastic and will never fade. The legends on the keycaps do look like what you would find on your typical gaming keyboards. They are pretty thick, but they do let the RGB underglow shine through. So for those of you who are wondering, all optical switch keyboards are hot swappable. Optical mechanical switches are different from traditional mechanical switches in that instead of having two metal contacts separate, there's a laser sensor on the PCB, so whenever you press far enough on the switch, the laser gets blocked, which results in a closed loop, and that results in a key press. Because they don't have the metal contact to actuate the switch, they're much smoother and supposedly twice as durable and much quicker to actuate than their regular mechanical counterparts. There is a downside though. It's only hot swappable between different Gateron optical switches. The stabs that come with the keyboard are plate mounted and do seem to come factory looped. I now have it plugged in. There are a bunch of different light modes you can go through by holding down the function key and pressing the close bracket key, which will toggle between standard lighting effects. By pressing function and backslash, that'll toggle between reactive options such as single key reactive, row, wave, and audio reactive. Which would explain why this keyboard has a microphone under the spacebar. You can further customize the keys by downloading the software from the Banggood product page. There's a driver mode where you can save all the settings on the computer and an onboard mode where you can save the settings on the keyboard itself. You do have more customization options on driver mode though. If you want to, you can also save different macros under the macro menu. You also have the option to change the RGB light effects under the lighting tab. And if you don't want to mess with the software, unless you have any specific changes that you want to make, 
you don't have to you're good to go right out of the box now for the sound test You do hear a bit of rattling on the stabs even though they come pre-lubed and you can hear a hint of spring noise from the switches which can easily be improved by lubing them. Obviously there's no noise from metal leaves because it doesn't have any. Because Gateron optical switches are still compatible with any MX keycaps, I changed out the keycaps to HyperX putting to bring out the RGB lighting even more. It looks much cleaner and I really like how it looks. What do you guys think? I think I'm going to keep these. I think this keyboard is a good option if you're looking for a gaming keyboard in a smaller form factor and are on a budget. So thank you. And good for providing me with this keyboard for review and thank you everyone for watching if you enjoyed this video please give it a like and subscribe to my channel until next time bye